Hello everyone, this is your host Zakari here and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've installed a mod that allows me to create a skyblock world and so that's what we're going to be doing this episode. So here we are on an island. So in case you haven't ever played this mode before, the idea behind Skyblock is you start off on this island floating in the sky with nothing but a tree and some grass. And from here we're going to be using a bunch of game mechanics as well as some of the additional stuff from the mod to create a beautiful world. And so this one will be a little bit more exciting in terms of game progression because we're going to be doing all of these different challenges to get the different items that we need. So with that, my goal for this episode is to get some bread. So that might seem like a simple goal, but there's quite a few steps to get there because we have absolutely nothing besides the grass and this tree right now. Oh, and I did want to also explain, you probably saw that achievement there. You'll notice that these are custom for the mod as well. So we'll actually, this will guide us towards what we can do um, to progress. Now that we have some things is probably to go ahead and make a crafting bench and we can start making some slabs. I probably don't want to convert everything so far just in case I need it. Um, but we can start expanding this island out. So this way we can end up getting more of the um, saplings and really expand our tree farming to get started. So at this point, I've planted all the saplings and I think I can just, the last thing I can probably do is convert the rest of these into slabs to give us a little bit more space to work with. But after this, it's just gonna be a little bit of a waiting game. So now at this point, I'm just gonna be harvesting a bunch of trees to expand our island and give us a little bit more space to work with for a little bit. So now it's the first night in our Minecraft world and I wanted to bring up the fact that um, it's raining. It's one of the cool things that you don't really think about but cauldrons will slowly fill when it's raining so later on in this season that'll be our way for getting water. And now it's the start of our second day and the goal today is to get enough wood so this way we can build a preliminary mob farm. But now that we have enough wood, let's go make a preliminary mob farm. And now I'm thinking it might just be easiest to build out a little bit into the space here. And now, hopefully, tonight, some spiders, skeletons uh, will spawn. And then we can wait for the daylight. And then the skeletons will burn in the sun. And we can just kill the spiders. And then we'll have plenty of bones and some string and with the bone meal, we can start to make some crops. Now as the sun sets for the night, I'm feeling pretty hopeful that tonight we're going to get some skeletons. Oh, so it seems the zombies will pathfind all the way across. So I think this is good because I can actually kill the zombies with a sword. And if I'm real careful, I won't actually take any damage which will then allow me to hopefully get some uh, materials like rotten flesh or maybe even some of the rare drops like carrots, potatoes, or iron. Here we go, sunrise on the third day and it is looking good so far. We got, unfortunately we got two creepers and anyways, we do have one skeleton here. So that is good news. Literally just waiting for it to burn. And please don't come this way. Perfect. Okay, so now I just have to get out there without dying. So I'm thinking I can hit the creeper and push him off the edge. This is going to be a challenge. Oh, no, the creeper blew up the bone. Okay, that was awful. Um, I thought I could kick it off the edge. Um, apparently I cannot. Um, but what I can do is hit this spider and run and almost die. Okay, this was, this was not a good idea. Can I, oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Whew. Okay, this was way more risky than I totally needed it to be. But anyways, we survived another day. Not that it matters a ton because I'm playing in hard mode, not hardcore, so I will get to respawn on this island, but I don't really want to die the first episode. That would be a little bit embarrassing. So anyways, next I'm going to be building a mob farm, but to do that I have to get all the way down to the bottom of the world because that's where it'll be the fastest. And so in Skyblock, since there's nothing below us, we kind of have to use some trapdoors to get down. And there's a cool trick about it, but I haven't actually tested it out in the past. So let's hop over to a creative world. So if I start out with the trapdoor up top, uh, or on the bottom of a block, I place one on the top, I crouch over to the edge, and I think if I flip that one, yeah, I, craft, I crouch down. Wait, how does this work? Place a block underneath it. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. So now I can place one on the bottom, and then one on the top, flip it and then flip it again and now uh, block number two and now if i flip this one i can flip that one and we can continue building down and we kind of just build this like staircase going down so this seems pretty cool i'll uh, go try that out in my survival world all right so now I think I'll want to go down the opposite direction from the mob farm just because that is a little bit scary, not going to lie. So uh, I have a strong feeling I'm probably going to like fall into the void at least a little bit. Um, so I want to be a little bit careful. So I'm going to start working my way down. And so if I start over here, and I'm just going to build these two blocks for starters, and then there's this pattern. Shift, walk over, crouch, block. And it takes a lot longer than I thought it would to do the, um, do the bridge down with the trapdoors. So I'm just going to try to get as much wood as I can during the day. And then we can continue bridging down over night time. Right, so this third night comes to an end and we begin our day number four. The uh, mobs are beginning to burn in the daylight and that's really great. Oh no, what? No, I lost a skeleton. Okay, well, at this point, I'm going to back up and hope that the witch despawns because I do not want to deal with that. And they knocked. Okay, I think I got really unlucky again, but there we go. The witch is gone. So did any of the items not fall into the void? Okay. This has been a disaster. <laughs> so I'm just going to tear it completely down. And today we are going to completely just focus on actually getting a proper mob farm built so this way we don't end up having to deal with any of this. I think I'm going to spend today just trying to get down as low as I possibly can in the world. So got a bunch of trapdoors, we've got a bunch of stairs. Uh, and I'm just going to make a bunch more. Let's go! Uh-oh, I hear some phantoms. Ah! One of them got me. Okay, um... This is going to be... Oh. This is going to be a rough night. The good news is I think no more should spawn, so I just gotta kill this guy. Oh, nope, definitely not. 
Okay, that's one hit. I think I need like four or five. Nice. Okay. Now that we're all the way down at the bottom of the world, I am going to build a mob farm. And now I think um, I have some cool ideas. And uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to build it in a time lapse and uh, I'll, I'll let you decide if you think it's cool or not. Let's go. Look at all these monsters. This is crazy. And bats, of course. But, um... But if I just go over here, it's like... It does take a few hits also, because these are all, um, wooden tools. Of course the wooden pools don't last very long, but I've already gotten six bones, seven arrows, a bunch of gunpowder. This is going great. So now that I have some bones, um, I'm actually going to use the first bit to try to get some wheat seeds. And I got some right there, so that's great. So now it's night again, and hopefully we can get a lot more bones tonight, and this will be great for getting some food going. So far it's been a pretty good night. I got like 24 bones, 29 gunpowder, a bunch of arrows, so I'm doing really great. I just have to eat the rotten flesh and then deal with the hunger for a little bit, but it's enough to be able to restore a little bit of health. Speaking of restoring a bunch of health, with all the bones that we got from last night's grind and some of the dirt that I grabbed from above, and with that we have some wheat and I can just keep doing this until we have all of the food we need. So here we go, we got 29 wheat from that and we can make our first bread and now we have some actual good food. And with that, that's going to be it for episode one of my Skyblock world. You'll have to stick around for the next episode, which will be coming out soon. I'm not quite sure what's next, but I think I'll probably try to get grass all the way down at the bottom of the world. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.